Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Nuring. In this episode, I'll be showing you uh, the breakdown of how I created uh, this setup. This is probably uh, something that you have seen before. Um, I was before I was using Spreadshop, but this time I was using geometry nodes of Blender to create something like this. Um, this is something that you can create with super minimal effort, basically using two curve, and the two curve uh, that's currently hidden is actually basically Spreadshop, Spreadshop generated. So in this case, I still recommend the usage of Spreadshop because um, Spreadshop can generate curve for the profile curve and also uh, the extruded, the one that's controlled the extrusions. And, and then if we switch back to geometry nodes, you can see that this curve to mesh takes the curve and profile curve from Spreadshop. On top of that, um, geometry nodes also now have a way to to tilt and also to control the radius. So this is pretty cool setup. Let's create. Uh, let's start from scratch. So the idea is to generate two curves the curve and the profile curve using Spreadshop and then using it inside geometry nodes. And with that minimal effort, we can kind of create something that's pretty abstract and it's pretty cool. Uh, so, so we have to do this. Spreadshop nodes. Um, polyline viewer. So in Spreadshop, if you want to generate curve, you use this mass viewer, and you can start with a random point. Simply plug this as input. So this is the default. You get random points, and you kind of just put it together. You can randomize further. So by default, you get this. Um, you can increase the resolution of the curve actually by selecting the polyline and there's this resolutions in in U and V so this is kind of interesting not this guy but this guy so that's for the resolution of the curve uh, you can always use uh, resample later using geometry nodes however this is the original curve Remember in the past, uh, I showed you that we can use random number and plug this into the radius and you can simply change the radius of the curve. So this is something that can be done using uh, geometry nodes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's have a look. Um, Spreadshop actually have a way to use the bevel. Maybe I should do that first. So we need to curve polyline viewer. Another just duplicate this one. We can use uh, just normal line. Plug this in there. And when once so in order to use this curve as a pro uh, bevel profile for the other for the other curve we need to turn off the the bevel so it's become a just a normal curve and now we can use it over here so that's the basic idea. I'm just gonna hide this curve. Now we're gonna switch to geometry nodes, create a new cube, create a new geometry nodes, and let's do the curve to mesh. Okay, I don't know why my computer is getting slower. 
it's going in alpha and beta so alpha is going to be the curve and beta is going to be the profile curve plug this in you can see this works right away and <clears throat> now we can uh, we can actually use randomize and here there's a drop down you can see there's a option for tilt resolution position cyclic radius let's try radius so now i'm randomizing the radius of the curve that's being sweep <clears throat> okay so that's a uh, that's one thing you can also now use the same nodes just to randomize the tilt okay now if we if we go back to stretch off we can center the line we can randomize the line that we use for profile and and also we can randomize this guy so random vector randomize the position of the vector slightly or completely change the line we can also increase the number of points maybe not too much so remember that uh, this guy over here is also already become a mesh so it's no longer a curve once it's inside geometry nodes and you use this uh, curve to mesh of course now it's becoming a mesh and you can use solidify you can actually you know you can actually mirror this and yeah you have some kind of design I'm, I'm, it's not completely like design but still it looks interesting enough that you can kind of imagine this is some kind of design it's, even though it's pretty random so it's almost like a uh, sphere chalk is made for geometry nodes because it's they are kind of related um, that's how the I think the power of nodes is that you can just connect and fuse and blend everything together so here you play around with the tilt and you can tilt the, the curve and this is the radius of course on top of that, we can also use random number over here. Plug into the radius. So it's like uh, double the effects. If we actually, instead of using replace here, we just add it. So we are adding value into this value that we already have. Pretty cool. Maybe this tilt is a little bit too much. There we go. And we can also I think we can also play around with this resolution. Select the polyline. Oh yeah, we can always resemble the curve. So this is curve coming in. We can use resemble. Okay, look, look at this. We have a lot of control, totally. Of course, the other curve also can be resemble.
right okay so that's how you hook um, stretch out nodes together with geometry nodes and you get some some kind of cool random design um, yeah play around with this and and remember this is also because once we turn it into a mesh uh, this is also something so you can also use instancer to instance objects along the curve so maybe that's for the next video tutorial so yeah hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye